Hey, Shalom Makium. This is Yabba Tazak coming back with another video. As y'all see uh, in the screen, it says an update. The Statue of Liberty has gone dark, which occurred last night. For uh, I guess the lights went out for a period of, of an hour. Uh, but brothers are already putting up videos. I just wanted to, you know, pull out some scriptures regarding it. Uh, but I found this article, and and as always, you know, Esau has to have something where. Right here it says, multiple sources including the New York News broadcast PIX11 are reporting the lights around. The Statue of Liberty had gone dark tonight with no official reason on the books. Online commem commem commemorators uh, include that one of, including the one ones who run the Twitter account for the Women's March are speculating that it's intended as a gesture of uh uh, celerity for tomorrow's International Women's Day and a day without women event. A widespread strike intended to display the impact women have on the America's workplace and culture. All right, so now they're trying to say that that's what it's all about. All right, uh, well, you know, if you keep reading, all right, it says uh, right here. Of course, it, it's always possible that this is just a bizarre coincidence of power audit, outage and that no political intent is actually meant by the sudden darkness at the statue. But for now, numerous people, ourselves included, are reading it as a powerful symbolic show of support for America's women and their cause. All right, so Esau is seeing it as an omen, just like the us brothers are seeing it as an omen, a sign. Well, they're seeing it as a as a a, a carnal, uh, uh, a way, of of lifting up women. All right, because we know that this place is governed, and and ruled by women, and women are put up in a high place here in the society. All right. Uh, now I want to get some scriptures, because it is an omen. All right. Uh, it's 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 basically saying, that, uh, the wicked, uh. The wicked's candle shall be put out. Now there's a scripture in Isaiah 47 and 7. It says, And thou and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Alright, so you, America, the Statue of Liberty is, there, is one of their uh, symbols. Alright, and uh, they use that to gesture that they're going to be triumphant forever. Alright, in the book of Joel, it says that the... Uh, uh, the wicked of the wicked uh, triumph, but for a short time. All right, a, 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 along with the hypocrite. All right, Isaiah forty-seven and, and eight. Therefore, hear now this: thou that are given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Right, and when that light turned out for for a period of an hour. That's basically what it was uh, assigned to us is that America is about to meet that prediction, that prophecy is that you're going to be as a widow and a widow. You know, if you in the old times, they were dressed like in black, you know, and they were they were uh, uh, alone, you know, and loss of children and things of that nature. Well, all that's coming, man. All right. All that's going to come uh, upon this place, as you see right here. Look at that picture, man. It looks wicked, but at the same time, it's it's a uh, it, it's gonna be a, a ghost, man. Isaiah forty-seven and nine. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and one day, the loss of children, the and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection, for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the abundance of thy enchantments. Right. So those false philosophies, false doctrines. You know, now you're trying to say it's for the uh, this women a, a day without women. All right, like, like, you know, come on, man. This is I uh, Revelations eighteen and uh, seven. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day: death, mourning, famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth 
who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall be well her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour thy judgment come. All right, just like it took an hour for you to bring back those lights and it being an omen as, as, as a, a sign to you that that uh, uh, how important it is to have women uh, 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 ruling and things of that nature. All right. Governing and, and, and taking over things in a household or being equal to men, these the, the women's equal rights. All right. It was it was a sign and an omen to us that this place is about to be destroyed and the wicked. The, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and bring that scripture out. You know, so it's all it's all a symbolic. You know, it's all spiritual. You know. This is a. Uh, in the book of. Salakia, give me one second, man. See where it is. Con right here. Uh, Proverbs 24 and 20. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Right. So the candle of the wicked shall be put out, man. All right. You're not going to stand as a lady forever. All right. You're not going to be triumphing in, 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 in the uh, in the land no, no more uh, pretty soon. All right. So basically, I just wanted to bring that out, brothers. Uh, this is the last scripture I want to end it with. It's uh, Job 20 and uh, 4. Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, you know, so, hey, this is the omen, you know, what I'm saying a sign to the Akium that this place is about to be destroyed, man. We're coming to the Passover. All right. So this is a time of, 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 of seriousness. You know, look at them clouds, man. This is a, a, a time of, of, of great gloominess and darkness that's coming upon this place, man. But uh, I want to leave it with that, brothers. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Until next time, Shalom.